Well, firstly, the drilling that we do offshore can either be drilling from a platform or can be drilling a subsea well. And of course, the course will look at both of those aspects, both of them essentially cutting a hole in the ground. But for a platform well, essentially that hole in the ground starts above the sea level on the platform. For a subsea well, cutting the hole in the ground starts on the seabed and projects down from that. There will be different equipment that we use for those two types of drilling. Essentially the drilling process which is examined in the course is about how we cut the rock, how we put in the first casing tubulars that protect the well that we're drilling and how we cement them in. Both of those would be in platform drilling and seabed drilling. The seabed drilling though obviously has the factor that we have to fill the water column between the seabed and the floating uh, drilling vessel above it uh, with a marine drilling system, the marine drilling riser, the blowout preventer, uh, etc. And these are described in the course uh, and covered in the modules. Uh, safety is an issue. Uh, just how the blowout preventer works, a key part to the uh, uh, drilling, so a key part to the course to understand that. And an examination of a number of drilling rigs that we have. For shallow water we can use jack-ups. Uh, for shallow water and deep water we can use semi-submersible drilling vessels. And for deep water we can just use drilling ships. These different types of drilling hosts all have advantages, disadvantages and cost and operational implications and this is important to understand all these types and how we select them for the particular job uh, drilling in our fields. The course covers all the aspects of drilling, right through from exploration drilling, finding the fields, understanding what the fields uh, have to offer for production, uh, to the development wells uh, where the oil and gas comes to the production host. It looks at all the drilling hosts that we have. Uh, in shallow water we can use jack-ups, in shallow and deep water we can use drilling semis and in deep water we can use drill ships. All of these have their own particular features, advantages and disadvantages and these are all covered in the course. The industry has always been very good at providing videos of our activities and there are many many superb drilling videos. I'm looking forward to sharing those videos with you uh, through the online learning management system uh, and drilling videos are a way of seeing many of the operational activities uh, that are not seen just looking at pages and pictures. Over and above that many of the people on the course may well be working on drilling vessels at the moment the course is going on and it's an opportunity for all of us to learn about those drilling activities uh, and which vessels are operating in which locations.